The Captain Captain Talk Flicks. Flicks. The Captain Talks Flicks. The Captain Talks Flicks. The Captain Talks Flicks. Movies, TV, sports, flicks. The Captain Talks Flicks. The Captain Talks Flicks. The Captain Talks Flicks. Movies, TV, sports, flicks. Welcome to the Captain Talk Flicks Podcast. I'm your host, the Captain Cortez, and this is where we talk flicks. I welcome the podcast, the podcast where me, the captain, talks about movies, TV, sports, flicks. Anything you see on a two-boy screen, I like to get in here and give my unique perspective. Because after 44 years of being on planet Earth, I've developed a unique perspective about this movies, TV, sports, and flicks. Let's get in here and tell you about it. Because just maybe, just maybe you care. And according to the stats, it looks like you do care. I want to give a big shout out to India, Singapore. We got some plays over there, over there this, this week, this past week. Got some love, show some love. Those are fantastic countries. Beautiful architecture, beautiful monuments, beautiful culture. Oh, I would love to travel to India, Singapore someday. Maybe after this run is over, I'll go over there, eat some cuisine, see the sights. Maybe meet my wife. Who knows? It may possibly. They, who knows what what will happen? But anyways, um, yeah, beautiful places. And just FYI, back in the day, I went to school to be a radio DJ, but I never got a job. I think that I didn't have the grit. I think I was lacking grit. I was talking to my family, and they said. Captain, you just didn't have the grit. <laughs> I didn't really talk to them. They didn't tell me that. But I was thinking in the back of my mind, they might have thought that. It doesn't matter though, because now I do podcasts. And it's been said that I may be the greatest podcaster in the multiverse. Subject to the debate, could be true. Could not be true. Depends on what you think, depends on what your perspective is. But I said it on the internet. So it might be factual, possible, because everything on the internet is correct, right? Maybe? I don't know. Who knows? Doesn't matter. Whatever. Let me stop rambling. Let's get right to the podcast, but first, a word from our sponsor. Do you even train, bro? Do you even train, bro? Do you work out? Do you train? Do you exercise, right? Okay, maybe you're not getting the full full workout you could get, right? Maybe you're just not getting that that, that oomph, right? Maybe you're not getting that oomph, you know what? Anyone think, what is it? Do you just not have the strength? Do you don't have the will? Do you don't have the determination? Maybe what you need is better training music. Maybe you need to train to some different music. Maybe you gotta hit that bag or lift up weights or whatever to some different music. So I'm gonna share with you guys what the captain trains to. What I'm out there doing bag work, grappling, battle ropes, Slides, weights, kettlebells, right? When I'm out there doing that, I like to train to uh, a lot of grind music. So I'll put a link to my playlist that I work out to five days a week. I'm training to this. My guns are getting bigger. My cardio is starting to get spectacular. I'm like Ric Flair. I can go for days, baby. And it's all because this, this playlist gets me through the workout. So I'll put the link below. If you want to train like the captain trains... You want to put in that work in the gym space and your other your playlist is kind of stale check the playlist i'll put the link below and you can train like the captain because i'm an elite athlete <laughs> not really so check it out it's over the soundcloud page the bag work playlist and you can train to that i'll put the link below and get you get your get your fitness on now let's get on with the podcast ladies and gentlemen ladies and gentlemen now, if you've been looking at the tube or the news or the internet, you might have seen in the last few weeks, there was some monoliths discovered, found across the globe, right? Monoliths. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, on the news across the globe, there was these, like, long metal, like, monoliths. They're called monoliths. They're, like, long metal, like, like fixtures right fixture I call, they're called monoliths basically but like a fixture like a metal pole like a beam and these things were found across the globe 
And some were there for a while and some have disappeared. But there's a lot of speculation. There's a lot of like theories that these structures may have not been from this world. Okay, people were saying that. People were saying they might have been from outer space. <laughs> sounds crazy, right? I know it sounds so crazy. Like metal beams on the earth from space. Like so crazy. It's like a science fiction movie. Now, I don't know. Maybe they were. Maybe they weren't. I'm not sure. But one thing we know for sure. There were some metal beams across the globe in spaces, in dirts, in places, in the ground. And now a lot of them aren't there. Which is like, huh, what happened? They were there and they're gone. It's kind of weird. You can speculate and you can think all these different theories. Whatever, okay. But we know what happened. We saw the pictures. We know they were there and they're gone. But who knows what happened to them, right? But the reason I'm talking about this is because these are interesting. They happened across the globe. And there was different spaces around the globe where it happened, right? And I was like, cool. Read the articles, saw the picture. Like, that's great. But why I'm talking about the podcast? Because in the town that I live in, the place that I live, the place where all the magic happens, the place where the captain calls his stomping grounds, calls home, we reportedly had a monolith as well, right? Supposing there was a monolith downtown area of this particular city that I live in. There was a monolith down there, right? So you know the captain? Hey, monolith? Really? Aliens? Extraterrestrial? Outer space? I had to go try to find this monolith, right? So over the weekend, I went and tried to find this particular monolith in this area, this downtown area, right? I went down there looking for the monolith. I'm thinking if I go find this monolith, I'm going to take pictures with it. Maybe I'll communicate with aliens. Maybe I'll reach out and touch some. Maybe I'll talk to E.T. I don't know. Maybe I can talk to you like, uh, you know, those, 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 those gray aliens with the big heads and the big eyes. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, I don't Who knows? Maybe we got superpowers. I don't know. But anyways, I was looking for this monolith. I could not find this monolith. I was very discouraged because I was all excited. I got up early. I made my way over to that area. And I looked and I looked and I looked and I looked find this monolith I'm not sure if the monolith is still there I'm not sure if I was looking at the right spot but you best believe ladies and gentlemen I'm going to find this monolith that's in my town and I need to know is this monolith from outer space I got to examine this up close I got to look I got to see it I got to touch it I got to see this monolith so while they were across the globe they were in places they were removed it is very possible the monolith that was in my town has been removed as well. If it follows the trend of all the other monoliths across the globe, I may have missed my opportunity to get up and close with this monolith and touch it and see it, take pictures with it, and share it on the internet so you guys can see the monolith in my town. And who knows, maybe I would be being to another dimension. <laughs> Ancient alien theorists say yes. Some ancient aliens theorists say yes. But I don't know. Maybe I could fly. Maybe transport me to another planet. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it's just a piece of metal that someone put there. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm, yeah, I, don't, I don't know about these things. But I did want to see this model. Then I searched for it. And I couldn't find it. I was very disappointed. Because I had to know, bro. I had to see this for myself. I had to my own eyes. It's not that very often that you get to see something that has some mystery behind it. Majority of stuff in your town, in your city that you see, there's no mystery. You know where it comes from. You know where it's at. You know, there's no mystery behind these things you see. Sidewalks, bushes, trees, cars, buildings, right? Mailboxes, doors, <laughs> you know, <laughs> tires, tools, phones. Like, oh, we know these things come from. We know all about these things. But these particular monoliths, they're mysterious mysterious we don't know what's going on these mindless and i almost had my opportunity to see one up and close i don't know maybe i got up on it maybe it was fake maybe it wasn't real maybe it was made of cardboard i don't know but i had to, i wanted to go see it i had to go check it out because there was supposedly one in my town i may have missed the boat i may have missed my opportunity to see this model maybe the whole purpose of the model was to come into my town collect people 
to go to another planet and then take off, right? And that was it. And maybe I missed my boat. Maybe that was my one chance to go to outer space. <laughs> and I missed it. So some magical monolith was going to transport me into outer space. Very possible. <laughs> I don't know. Ancient alien theorists, theorists say yes. <laughs> but seriously, ladies and gentlemen, there, there really was a uh, monolith in my city. Now, what, the, 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 as far as the, the origins of monolith, most likely just some people playing, you know, playing pranks, playing jokes, right? Even ones across the globe, a lot of, a lot of the theories is just some joke, practical jokers, right? Possible, you know, but there's, there's also a small chance, maybe, possibly, extraterrestrial. I don't know. I'm not an expert in that kind of thing, so I wouldn't know. But I did try to find my monolith in my town, and I didn't see it, so I'll give another shot this weekend, and I will keep you guys updated on the podcast how my search for the monolith goes. I have a strong feeling that I missed my opportunity, and I will never get to see that monolith up close. But whatever, you know, I tried, and that's all that matters. I gave it, I gave it a shot. So anyways, that's all I want to talk about this week, is that monoliths are around the globe, and there was a monolith in my town, and I tried to find it, and I may have missed my opportunity to connect cosmically with that monolith. Oh well, whatever. Now I'm going to go watch TV. <laughs> so anyways, um, I appreciate you listening. Gracias, gracias, thank you. And until next time, we'll see you. The obstacle is the path. Jax. Until next time, it's Captain Peace. The Captain, the Captain Talks, Talks Flicks. Flicks.